Good morning, Hero Wars fans. Have viewers already watched the live broadcast on the official YouTube channel? In this live broadcast, there was an explanation of the new game mode that will start in the fall, but it was basically what the management of Hero Wars has already announced. In this live broadcast, we were able to see battle scenes with henchmen from Monday to Thursday, and actual battle scenes with bosses from Friday to Sunday. As already announced by the management, the four weekdays are positioned as individual battles between players and computers, and using the buffs gained during the four days, all the guildmates will fight a boss battle during the three days of the weekend. You can use the resources gained from boss battles to level up your hero's abilities in Ascension, or level up the Great Tree of Ascension to level up all the heroes belonging to each branch. The information available to the public at this time can be summarized as shown in this image. In other words, there are two types of resources, those that are used for buffing and strengthening combat elements, and those that you receive based on your performance in boss battles. As a side note, buffs that are leveled up over the course of four weekdays in preparation for a boss fight are disposable on a weekly basis, and those buffs will be reset the following week. I'll try to forcefully explain this by applying it to the current Hero Wars. If I explain that it's like fighting in Outland for four days on weekdays to buff up for a boss battle, and then on weekends, all 30 guild members fight the computer in a 3-day guild war, you can get the picture. I think the game progression steps shown in this image almost perfectly represent the new game mode. For my part, I don't understand why the management of Hero Wars doesn't make such a flowchart and explain it. I feel that the game Hero Wars lacks this kind of helpful explanation. Normally, it would be better to create a single image that gives an overall picture first, and then add detailed explanations for each individual part later. But this game company explains the detailed parts first, which results in a series of explanations that make no sense to the game user. I have something important to tell you. The other day, Tanya and Daniel were explaining something interesting on YouTube. This is about what's new in Pet Patronage. You may remember that one of the many suggestions for improvement I received from viewers in a previous video was a request to tie Pet Patronage separately to the attacking and defending teaming units. Actually, as Tanya and Daniel explained during this live broadcast, as soon as the new game mode starts in the fall, it will be easier than ever to deal with pets, as shown in this screenshot. What's even more exciting is that this new feature applies not only to the new game mode, but also to the arena and grand arena. This means that you will be able to reassign your pet's support to a different offensive team composition than the one you registered for defense in the arena or grand arena. This means that all the complaints from viewers about their pets will be resolved. In the Grand Arena, you can register three team groups, and in the future, you will be able to link up to five pets to each team group. I want to tell you something more important. I'm sure many viewers have already seen this live broadcast, but in my case, I also watched the archived version of the live broadcast, which is available in Russian. Получить эмблемы и повысить боевой дух гильдии. Это уже на фазе с боссом, у босса общее здоровье для всех сагильдийцев. А каждую неделю начинать все заново, ну, как вознесение ваше не обнуляется. То есть каждую неделю начинается именно рейд и сражение с прислужниками. Tanya and Daniel are both native Russian speakers, and in the Russian version, Tanya provides commentary in Russian, which she is quite fluent in. If you haven't seen the Russian version yet, be sure to watch it, because Tanya laughs a lot. Hmm, I have no idea what they're saying in Russian. But I'm watching the English version of the archive on the left monitor and the Russian version on the right monitor at the same time, haha. -ha. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.